Okay, Sagittarius, it's L here to do uh, your love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you um, for clicking that like button again. Uh, if you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. Let's get into it. Okay, so Sag, I was doing your entire reading without hitting the record button. So we're just going to kind of um, do this over again. All right, so you got the Phoenix, okay? So new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind, mask, okay? Gaslighting, delude, uh, not showing your true feelings, personify, okay? And then we have coffee cup, meeting up, conversing, uh, savoring the moment, friendship. So somebody wants the relationship back. It could have ended or transitioned to, into something where it was, okay, we can be friends. We can be special friends. We can be phone buddies. We could be this, we could be that, but someone wants the relationship back. Somebody's hiding their true feelings. If you do meet up with your person, they could be hiding their true feelings of what they really want. This is an energy where somebody's trying to maintain their masculine frame. It could be a woman. It could be a man. But whomever is in that masculine energy, someone's trying to maintain that frame. They don't want to be in their feminine energy and just pour it all out and tell you how much they love you. And they want to be with you. And they want a cat. And they want a house. They want a dog. They want a this. They want that with you. You know, um, it, it's not their personality. And then also they don't feel comfortable in that. And they also just want to maintain some level of, I even heard dignity. All right. I don't know. But they definitely want a new start with you. Um, this person could have shown you very little in the relationship. Okay. Let's talk about it. All right. So, yeah, this person is suffering from a um, malady or malady. Like they can't get out of bed at the fact that you guys are separated, not talking, not together. Okay. They can't deal with the fact that um, it is over. They can't cope. All right. Money could be an issue. Either they have a lot of it um, and they didn't show that to you or they didn't share it with you or they didn't. Yeah, they didn't um, they didn't share it with you. They could have been very cheap. They could have this whole persona that they shouldn't spend money on, you know, a woman or a man or they're not coming off of their money in a relationship. Um, it also could be that somebody's money is dwindling or it's just not there. They don't have enough money. Then service coming up. Yeah, someone didn't just did not show you um, a good time. They didn't show you how devoted they were. They didn't show you how much they wanted to be with you. Or this is you, Sad. You didn't do this in terms of, of the person that you really love or you really like. You didn't show them by way of uh, putting your money where your mouth is and actually buying them uh, a gift or showing them how much you appreciate them with a small token or a gesture or something like that. And it also could be that somebody was giving money in order to show how much they're devoted, but they wouldn't say it. Yeah, journey coming up. So it feels like a masculine energy on this journey. This this masculine is realizing that they're going to have to change their ways. They're, they're coming to some realization, some indication that they can't be in this, um, you know, I don't give a F or I'm not going to do this or I have all these boundaries or I can't be this way or I can't say this or I can't do that type of energy. If they really want something you know, stable, something long lasting, something real. If they really want a real relationship, they're going to have to show up real because we do have someone here, you know, hiding their emotions. Could be you, Sag, could be the other person. Then we have priest. Someone is practicing, you know, they're being pious, chastity. Somebody shut down a wound, somebody shut down a wand. Ain't nobody getting nothing. Nothing coming from out of here. Um, somebody is uh, doing this, you know, to maybe even gain clarity. Gain clarity about who they really want, what they really want. Somebody could be reading the Bible. Somebody could be trying to just, you know, get back in good standing. Either, you know, in, in terms of their own spirituality and with a particular person. Because somebody here, either you, Sag, or the other person wants a new start. We have child coming out. They want a new foundational start that they will cultivate and nurture and bring to life and really um, protect so somebody wants that new start with you and it's all because they want their joyfulness back they want their happiness back they want um that high vibe back okay so that's what's going on here let's see if the um if this deck here whatever your person has to say offers you you know, a word of advice. Let's see what you have to say or what your person, rich husband. 
Somebody didn't want to show somebody how much money they had. Somebody thought they had a rich husband. Somebody has the bag, has the money, but they were not willing to come off of it. In which it really turned another energy off because maybe that energy put a lot of energy, effort, time, maybe even money into the connection. You know, but it, it wasn't reciprocated. Somebody could also feel like they're with somebody's with me for my money. You know, the masculine energy could feel that way. I give you money, that should be enough. I knew it. Somebody was showing how much they love you or how much they're devoted to you by way of giving you money. Someone, somebody is feeling like a masculine energy here or a man is feeling like, okay, I have money. You have access to my money. That should be enough. If I want to go cheat, if I don't want to come home at night, you should have to deal with it because I give you money. That should be enough. Your friends and your family cause a lot of drama, maybe because they're jealous. Okay, we did have joyfulness. This could even indicate um, getting together with friends or family and they just, you know, causing drama. Could even be jealousy here. Somebody feels, somebody's blaming, deluding, or someone, yeah, delusional. Sexy wife, rich husband, sexy wife. Somebody feels like, look, I got the bag. I want a sexy wife. I have a sexy wife. I give you money. That should be enough. That is our arrangement. That's the setup. It is what it is. What more do you want from me? Tyrese face. Let's see. Gold digger. I knew it. So I feel like, look, you're a gold digger. I'm not about to show you how much money I got. I'm not about to give you anything. I ain't coming off of nothing. Somebody's definitely, you know, um, wanting to be in a relationship out of fear scarcity fear that they'll be taken advantage of you know the only time people try to rule their emotions or rule relationships like that because they don't know how to stop okay what do you mean you know they don't know how to stop well if i have money if i have an abundance of money and i open that up to you okay my person and uh my person um does not meet my expectations disappoints me hurts me um i am i am in control of my emotions i am in control of myself i can say no more and cut and dry and put up the boundaries until i see change or we just you know the relationship ends but there's so many people out here once the door is open you know, the floodgates are there. They don't know how to close it off. Even when you, this person disappoints them, hurts them, slaps them in the face, you know, either literally or figuratively, they don't know how to stop, you know, stop all of the love, stop all the giving, stop all of the access to. Therefore, when a person is not truly in control of themselves and their emotions, they give nothing. I don't want to put myself in a place of vulnerability because I'm not going to know how to turn it off. So you get that with a lot of men, some women, but you definitely get that with a lot of men not knowing um, when to stop, not knowing when to walk away. That's why they say that women make the best gamblers because we know how to walk away from the table. Men don't. It's the same way in relationships. You know, men start to get to be taken advantage of, you know, know that they're with a gold digger. They don't change the bank accounts. You know, she still got access. She's still spending. She's still doing, you know, so it's just like this is a person who didn't want to show somebody, you know, didn't want to show somebody true love, devotion, open them up to their life fully. They were hiding behind a mask because they're afraid. You know, it's only two real emotions in the world. That's fear and love. All right, I'm gonna get off my soapbox. Let's see what else is going on here. I would choose you. Yeah, I'm missing you. So somebody's missing you. I would choose you. Somebody said, you know what? This is too much for me to deal with. You can't show me your real true feelings. You can't show me really who you are, what you really want with me or from me. Therefore, I'm leaving. I put some distance between you and I. And now you're talking about you would choose me and you're missing me. You're still in an energy of not being able to let the mask fall off. And there is somebody here who is just in two different mindsets. I want to be single. I'm healing from my upbringing. Please work with me. All right. And there could be someone here who still has a family. Okay. I have to stay with my family. But again, I'm happiest when I'm with you. 
this is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do collective reading and answer your questions. If you want to catch me live, click the subscribe and button and then click the bell button so you know when I'm live. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. But before you do that here on YouTube, click the community tab on my channel, grab a discount code, and then head over to the website and book your reading there. Thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.